the storage order is correct. The weight on the handcart is wrong. You wait for my order. Open the door. temperature. Take it down all the way. It won't affect the fur, but anything else will freeze to death. Now you come over close to the window. have no knowledge of an attempt to steal the Kavaz seal. No. Of course not. asking you to spy, just asking you to steal. you into a corner. Good defense, but I'm coming after you. focus and the sound system's on the blink. Better send for the repair service. Looks like you've got me in check, Miss Spencer. Winner takes all. May I offer my congratulations? Break it up, the game's over. We were just playing chess. You're lucky I arrived in time. One more move and he'd have had you mated. Report back to your unit, Miss Spencer. You're a great competitor, officer. I'll get you on the rematch. This is Noah Bain. Do you read me? Yes, sir. I want the following briefing session recorded. Briefing session? What's that? I know. You're not a spy, you're a thief. But this one is tailor-made for you, Al. You know what this is? Sable. Baltic. Gold medallion. Prize quality. Snatching stoles is not my bag. 
Of course, a criminal mastermind like you wouldn't soil his long, skinny fingers on anything so common as a fur heist. But this is different, Al. This is the Kavkaz Sable. It's an important coat. Important coat? Resign while you're ahead, Noah. We'll notify the SIA you've had a physical breakdown. Look, it's not just the fur. It's what's inside that counts. What's inside, Noah? The cloth chart showing the exact locations of all the ICBM sites in Siberia. It's quite a plot, Al. It's an international frame-up. The Kafka Sable is going to be presented as a gift to celebrate the signing of a new trade treaty between the Baltic States and the United Kingdom. The daughter of the United Kingdom's Minister of Commerce is going to receive the Sable, then at the border, the secret police step in and accuse the United Kingdom of high-level espionage activities with the map in the lining to prove it. Both countries look bad and the trade treaty falls apart. Why don't you warn British intelligence? Well, there are factions on both sides that are looking for any excuse to break up that treaty. We helped put it together, and we want it to stick, but we can't show our hand. What's the catch, Noah? Snatching furs is for beginners. Why can't your agents handle it? They tried to. They got killed. The sable is kept under maximum security in a refrigerated vault. I have the blueprints of the building. Guards, mm -hmm. alarm systems, concrete floors, nothing to it. We can tunnel in from Finland. There's no time. The presentation ceremony is this week. How about a double switch? Okay, Al, whatever you say. I'll need some pictures of the Minister of Commerce's daughter. Her name is Sidner Cavendish. A little like a bent twiggy. A friend of royalty. Voted best dressed clothes horse. We can give one of our agents a trick haircut, buy her a pair of boots and a miniskirt. No, your agents wouldn't work. They're nice girls, but they're too muscular. And what's worse, they're honest. What you need is a trained professional thief. No, absolutely not. The State Department is that. I know a crook who could handle this. And so do you. Do you remember that girl in Montefiore at the casino who was impersonating the princess? The one who left her my wallet? She looks enough like Sidnor Cavendish to be a twin. Forget it. Besides, we don't have time. What about your big-time SIA computing machine? A full-time pro must have a record. Trace it. We don't know her name. Brown. Charlene. Her friends call her Charlie or Chuck. Right at your fingertips, huh? What, were you planning a heist or a party? Well, if I'm going to pull a double switch, I have to have an accomplice. Central Control. Put out a three-stage computer trace on Charlene Brown, a.k.a. Charlie Brown, a.k.a. Chuck. Felon, female. Record and or want. SIA and Eastern Criminal Bureaus. Subject, Charlene Brown. Now serving one to three years grand larceny. 10701 Patapsco Correction Center. There's your hot professional, locked in prison. Come on, Noah. Doing a stretch in the slams is like going to finishing school, studying with the masters. Get out the Ritz and Springer. No, absolutely not. The SAA can't handle more than one of you. And then fake her into somebody else's custody. Whose? Who else? <laughs> parole a thief, to a thief on parole. They'll write books about you in law school. Send in 10701. C. Brown. This is an unusual degree of kleptomania. According to our record, she was picked up for GTA. I'm afraid you'll have to fill me in on the technical details. GTA? Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. She drove a Rolls Royce right off the showroom floor. What's all this, Warden? Some creepo claims he's my husband? You remember me, Mrs. Brown? Fred Jackson. I used to be in the oil business. Oh, I know you from someplace. You're a friend of... Your husband. Hello, darling. What a trip. My husband. Our attorney has submitted notarized copies of our marriage certificate. The warden is releasing you in your husband's custody. In his custody. Think of it as a partnership. I'm sure if we work hard together, we can make a go of it. Are we free to take up where we left off? Nothing has changed. Take me home. Warden. You've made two people very happy.
got to be kidding. You went to all the trouble to forge the papers and hype the warden just to spring me so that we can pull a heist taking a fur coat. You know better than that. Oh. I wouldn't heist a double-breasted chinchilla with ermine flaps. He said fur coat, I didn't. And I said cob sable. Ow. It's no use. We've got to tell it. You can't. Let him talk. It's in the lining. Al, that's classified information. Classified? Classified AAA by Lloyds of London. Look, Fred, she won't help us unless I tell her why we want the coat. Tell me. Tell me what's in the coat. Diamonds. My birthstone. Worth one million dollars in cash. My favorite amount. She looks exactly like you. Spitting image with a short haircut and a wiggy wardrobe. I can't let her steal a whole wardrobe. You can't pay for it. We're thieves, Noah, remember? She was suspicious when you wouldn't let her lift the furniture out of the mansion. It was government property. Do you want her to help us steal the Kavkaz sable? All right, we've got no choice. Just close your eyes. I'll slip you the price tags. You can settle up when we leave. You better know what you're doing. Watch out for the pink-faced man with the lizard eyes. He's the floor fuzz. And the lady with the shopping bag is the assistant heat. Oh, Daddy, they're smashing. I prefer you in tweeds. May I? Yes, yes, you may. I'm Wellesley Ainsford. Uh, and this is my bride, Wendy, and my accountant, Mr. Chiltern. Oh, uh, something from our fall collection, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> this way? Thank you. Would you stay? Thank you. A cappuccino? Oh, no, thank you. Maybe later. Uh, excuse me. Uh, really not you. Why don't you start stealing? Start? We haven't stopped. Watch Chuck when she tries on the next dress. anything. Look closely. I still don't see anything. Her skirts are getting longer and she's putting on weight. Yeah. She is getting heavier. She's got on three mini skirts, two blouses, a sports outfit, and a street coat. Won't they notice anything? Not if we keep running up the bill. Oh, charming, charming. Yes. Yes, we'll take two of those, and I'd like to have four of the evening gowns in pink, white, avocado, and the persimmon. I, I like the persimmon color. Uh, yes. Mr. Chilton, what's your tally? $18,720.26. Oh, with tax, a $21,340. Oh, yes, the tax. Thank you. She certainly carries furs beautifully. Do you have anything in white, floor length? For the ballet. I was thinking more for the horse show. Oh. <laughs> well, she's doing all right. How about you? Oh, we agreed ahead of time. The accessories are my bag. I see. Do you want me to distract the store detectives for you? You'll never learn, Noah. Those plastic heads are ex-cops. Put out the pasture. They've been asleep for years. The only time he ever gets up is when the models go by, and the lady, every time she goes to the water cooler, she takes a sip out of her flask from a shopping bag. It's all right, he's with me. 
I still think they can spot you. You haven't spotted me. You haven't done anything yet. You see that pearl necklace? Mm hmm Watch. How'd you do that? Feel my arm. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. You could use a workout. They're not my arms. They're stuffed. Stuffed? Yeah, my hands are stuffed. The gloves are stuffed. Freaky, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, I can hardly walk. Oh, I love it. Isn't it divine? Say it's mine, Daddy. It's mine, Daddy. Come on, can I have it? All right, Wendy, dear. You can have it. Ah, would you add up the total, please? We're late for tea. Go put your coat on, Wendy. Can I wear this one home? We'll have it sent. Will this be a check? Oh, no, no. I prefer cash. Cash? Yes, it's always uh, much neater. And Chilton here, he, he carries hordes of cash on him. How much does it come to, Chilton? $43,896.51. dollars and fifty-one cents. In cash? Well, I I'll have to speak to the manager. Well, I suppose it's inconvenient. An extra trip for the armored car. Well, uh, better make a check, Chilton. Oh, it's more customary. Yes. Well, I want the things delivered as soon as the check clears the bank. Uh, will you take care of that for me? Oh, I'll supervise the delivery myself. Thank you. Thank you. I can't float a check for 43000 Checks cost a dime, Noah. Pay now, stop payment later. Purchase completed, nobody's hurt. Here are the price tags on the items copped. Send in a real check later to cover it, and your conscience is clear. Conscience? What's that? It's me, Daddy. Ten best dressed women in America. Come on, let's split before I melt. Easy on the arm. Oh, I forgot, it's not real. <laughs>
This way, please. I've got the accent, but that walk. It's like a tight stork. Morning. Good morning. We're a uh, tourist. Hi. Texarkana, Arkansas. My wife. Yeah. Say, you got a taxi or auto bus? We we uh, we got to get over to that Baltic Star Hotel. Right through door on left. Thank you. Good day. Good day. What's the hurry? We've got to beat their bags to the hotel. We've got time for a tiny tour. I adore shipyards. Breathtaking decor. Gray on gray. Here's a couple of them, uh, them, uh, Kopex. Is, is that all right for you? Duh, duh. Thank you. Hey, listen, treat yourself to a glass of that, that Schlewitz. Luggage from the airport ought to be in by now. You knew, of course, we wouldn't be staying overnight. If I had, I would have ordered separate rooms with a double lock. <laughs> you would, with the two greatest lock pickers in the world. You know, they'd notice a civilian roaming around the halls, but these official red jackets warp their minds. I have a tremendous amount of confidence in you. Am I your beneficiary? How do I look? Uh, like Sergeant Pepper. Honey, honey. Listen, here's the picture of Sidnor meeting Dimitri. Try to match up with that Halloween outfit and uh, meet me at the freight elevator. Official party. This is Miss Sidnor Cavendish's truck, da? Da. Ah, uh, they ask we share these. I going up, save you trip. Siva, push button. Da. Okay. That's grand. Have you got the riot control juice? This will straighten her hair. Okay. If you need me, call room service. Room service? Our room telephone is 601. Oh, you see, 
the trunk is here. That's grand. I enjoyed my tour around the shipyard, Major Dimitri. I do hope you shall continue to be my guide. I have been assigned to you personally. Tomorrow at the tannery. Tonight at the presentation ceremony, Kamisa Pavelshenko has selected me as your personal escort for the cocktail party after the ceremony. Uh, he's my cousin. Sorry, Henderson. But we'll all be together. I'll arrive early and help with the presentation arrangements. Henderson, sorry. At seven. I'll uh, fill out the itinerary while you freshen up. I suppose Major Dimitri will show you the fishery as well. I shouldn't want to see the fishery with anyone but you. After all, I'm not your official escort. I'm only your aide. Commerce had already arranged an escort. I don't want him hanging about here every minute. Sorry, Henderson. That's all you seem to say nowadays. Henderson, sorry. See here, are you sending me up? I'd rather intended putting you down. That won't do, Sidnock. Besides, we meant so much to each other. Henderson, what's gotten into you? <gasps> Henderson, have you lost your good sense? Darling, that's not what you said in my flat in Kensington. Henderson, that's a rot. We met with Henry VIII. <laughs> Henderson, let go of my arm. Sidnor! Sidnor? What's going on? But I'm not myself. Not with you playing grabbers. No, by George, you're not yourself. This is a case for the security police. Put down that phone. Operator? Operator! Operator. Operator, room six, six oh one. What can I do for you? I can hear you breathing. Chuck? Are you all right? Chuck, answer me. Madame. Room service. Madame. with a vodka chaser. You're not supposed to spray that stuff on yourself. Come on. Oh, would you stop that? Oh, Al. I don't want to let you down, but this whole scheme is a giant bomb. I step in for Sidnor for two seconds and Henderson spots me as an imposter. He was close to you? You might say that. 
Well, maybe he could tell the difference. But believe me, the Baltic fuzz will never spot you. Major Dimitri is tuned in to Sidnor's vibrations. They've got a thing going. Keep away from him. Keep away from him. He's going to be here any minute to help me with the arrangements. He's going to be here at 7. We've got to find the arrangements. They're over there on the briefcase. According to Henderson's itinerary, the commissar and his party will arrive at the Presidium Suite at 8 o'clock. The Presidium Suite that's here? Yeah. No wonder it's so decorated. Here's the program. The commissar proposes a toast, then you propose a toast. It's all written out in the native tongue. I don't speak Baltic. Well, who can? Just make the sounds. You'll be very good at that. Mm, a few basic Baltic sounds. Then the commissar presents the cob sable to you in front of the cameras. Cameras? Being carried internationally by TV satellite. <laughs> Intimate audience of billions. Where is Sidnor? In the bathtub. Hey. Tie her up. I'll take care of Henderson. It's efficient. But I hope you have something more in mind. They'll be out for the night. We'll lock the door from the inside with a wire. Wait a minute. Henderson is supposed to accompany me to the ceremony tonight. We'll pull a double-double switch. I think you got a big whiff of that spray can in there. Look, you're not the only master of disguise on this caper. Oh, no, you're a regular criminal genius. We're going to have a masquerade ball. I'm going to be Sidnor, and you're going to be Henderson. Uh, he's my size. He has green eyes. I'll squint mine. Major Dimitri has seen him close up. So I'll hang back. I'll stay out of Dimitri's orbit. Anyway, he's going to be zeroed in on your miniskirt. It's formal. So wear your formal miniskirt. Sidnor is a fashion freak. It won't work. We've got to be bold, daring. Or is that a little scary for you? Don't worry about me. I can cut it. At least I look like Sidnor. You've got to get a whole new head. Well, we've got plenty of makeup. Sidnor has a kit for each eye. Now, will you come on? Oh, it's bold, it's daring, and it's suicidal. Look, our real problem is the house heat in the hall. Keep shuffling in with the tray so they have to see me come out. Well, you go on and leave me. I'll gag him and tie him and lock the joint up, and then I'll go out and wait for Dimitri. Ba, <laughs> oh, don't get up. It's just the valet. It'll only take a moment. For madame? In the bedroom, please. Uh -oh. Dimitrius here to help us with our arrangements. Major, shall we proceed with the arrangements? The commissar would like to keep it simple. Uh, the delegates will be seated here, where the television will be here. Uh, do excuse me, please. I must climb into my frock. If you need any help with your zipper, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, I shan't. Miss Cavendish, Baltic Security Police. This is Miss Cavendish. We are here for the presentation ceremony. Ah, yes. Major Dimitri has already made the arrangements. Cavendish. Ah, Major. Come in the back. Henderson, diplomatic call. Yes, sir. I know who you are. Ah, yes. You were observing Miss Cavendish's arrival at the customs entry. Ah, you noticed me. I didn't realize I was quite so conspicuous. 
Well, I wouldn't say conspicuous, Commander. Distinguished. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I know why you are in the diplomatic service, sir. Well, my men will be stationed in the corridor and outside several of the doors. Ah, oh, Commander, there's one thing I beg of you. What is that? Well, could you keep them out of my private bath? I, I don't like to use the hotel laundry. My things are hanging all about. You do understand. Yes, of course. No one will be allowed to go in at all. Ah, the television technicians are here. The commissar must be here by now. Aren't you staying for the festivities? Thank you, but my primary mission is the care and safety of the Baltic people's gift to the people of the United Kingdom. The Kavka Sable. That. We are bringing it from the Tannery Vault in an armored car. It is my intention to supervise its arrival personally. I hope you'll mention these superb security measures to your cousin, Major. I had intended to do so, Mr. Henderson. Thank you, sir. How feel? Sick. Signor <laughs> 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 Daughter of the Minister of Commerce. We congratulate you on this wonderful celebration of the new reciprocal treaty of commerce. From my father, the Minister of Commerce, and on behalf of the peoples of the United Kingdom who join in this historic celebration, greetings. <laughs> <laughs> May I present the delegates and honored workers of the Baltic state who represent millions of citizens together with all the people around the world who are enjoying this outstanding celebration throughout the television network of the Balkan state. Greetings, delegates. Mr. Dimitri. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on your uh, joyful style of dress. <laughs> the Balkan state had not yet adopted the miniature skirt because of ice and snow. <laughs> and now I will present the delegate for the benefit of the enthusiastic people throughout the world, Ludmila Argenia Kaskatskova, Secretary General of Urtsuk. <laughs> And now to seal the treaty in the Baltic tradition with a toast. <laughs> to a successful adventure between our two countries. Nazdrovie. <laughs> and now, the gift. From the Baltic people, the finest fur in the entire world, the Kafka's Sable. Hello, Henderson here, Diplomatic Corps. I'm with Commissar Pavelchenko's party. We'll need a limousine at the front door for Miss Sidnor Cavendish. There's been an emergency. She has to be at the airport immediately, and I'd like a standby car for me in case I have to join her on a moment's notice. Thank you. Excuse me, 
Miss Cavendish. You asked me to remind you about the surprise. But of course, the surprise. You've given her such a lovely gift that she insists upon giving you something to remember her by. It's <laughs> <laughs> out in the corridor. Hurry, loop. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Time to go. Max is trying to get into the bathroom. But it's locked in the inside. He's trying to unscrew the doorknob. That's what I call stubborn. You go to the elevator. There's a car waiting to take you to the airport. What about you? I'll stall them with this knob, too. Why won't they come after us? The commissar thinks you're going to spring a surprise on him. And the uh, corridor guards wouldn't dare stop the guest of honor. Must be down there. <laughs> It is beautiful, isn't it? Would you mind escorting me down to my car? <coughs> Mr. Henderson! I, I, I was gassed. Who did it? Sinner is here too. No, 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 no. She's with the commissar. Imposter. Imposter. <coughs> the service is excellent in this hotel, but the lifts are slow. Perhaps I'll try this one. Where is Miss Cavendish? Preparing the surprise. Where? In the corridor. Is she wearing the coat? Well, of course. She's an impostor. Tell the commissar. Wait a minute. You tell the commissar. Security is your responsibility. You open the door. I get the telephone. Doors are not my responsibility. This is a police emergency. Commander, back speaking. No, it has not been taken care of. She was not supposed to leave the hotel. Stop him. Stop him at once. Give me the chief customs inspector. This is Commander Back speaking. The representative of the United Kingdom is arriving at customs now. We have reason to believe that she and her aide are impostors. But you will initiate the exposure plan regardless. The treaty must be destroyed. She has stolen the Kafkash sable. But she is unaware of the espionage evidence in the lining. Admit her to customs at once. But be quite sure, United Nations observers and international press photographers witnessed the arrest. The subject is approaching now. We will proceed on plan. Station the guards. Get the UN officials and notify the foreign news services. Hurry! There she is. But I don't see him. Stay on that monitor. during the security police calls. She's trying to run customs. Well, stop her. Get her out of there. Stop her? Commander Bax has every security cop in town after us. No, he wants her to try to get through. 
He's got the UN and the world press set up to witness the capture of a spy. But he works for the commissar. No, he's a member of the faction that's out to blow the treaty. Henderson's his opposite number on the other side. Look, we've got to get her out of there. She'll wind up in Siberia or dead in front of some firing squad. If they inspect that coat, we'll all wind up dead. What are you going to do? Snatch it. Diplomatic passport, Miss Sidnor Cavendish. You will wait here, please. You search this area for Henderson. He makes any resistance, shoot him. How do? I don't believe I know you. Give me the coat. No. Take the coat off, put it over your arm, and give it to me. Forget it. They're going to inspect it. Don't try and shuck me. An opportunity for a coat like this comes once in a lifetime. You want me to snatch it off? You try it, and I will create an international incident you won't believe. We will take the coat, madam. It is my private property. Forty million people saw Commissar Pavelchenko give it to me on international TV. I've got the right to take it home. We have reason to believe that you're using this court in an illegal manner. We demand that you surrender it for customs inspection. The pockets are empty. We're not concerned with the pockets. We order you to submit the court for an inspection of the lining. Uh, the coat doesn't belong to the young lady. It belongs to me. The coat is mine. Prepare to make the arrest. The coat obviously belongs to the lady. It belongs to me, and I can prove it. How can you prove it? By the lining. By the lining in the coat, there's a map uh, sewn into the lining, and uh, it shows all the tourist vacation spots I hit while I was here on my vacation. These two oh. are obviously accomplices. Let's have a look at this list of tourist vacation spots sewn into the lining. We will want the United Nations Observer to be a witness. Photographs will be permitted. Now, the lining. There is no lining. Ah. Arrest both of them. On what charge, Commander Bax? For, for uh, falsification of passport. But their passports are in order. My coat, please. It was an honest mistake. saw that my tour has been just grand. Goodbye. Congratulations, Al. That's what I call a perfect double switch. That's what I call a perfect double cross. Double cross is right. What happened to the diamonds and the lining? What happened to the lining? I'll tell you what happened to the lining. She was so anxious to share it with her partners. So while I risked my neck jamming the doorknob, she was off in a limousine tearing the stuffing out of the coat. Some coat. Not even a one-carat baguette. Nothing but an old map. So you tossed it out of the window? Of course I tossed it out of the window. You lied to me. Good thing we did. Trust you with a zircon at south of the border. Goodbye, Charlie. Well, at least we've got the coat. We've got the coat. I've got the coat. Girls got to have something more to show than just a fake marriage certificate. But it's up to you, Al. She's in your custody. You hear that? Shape up, Charlie Brown. Or it's back in the slams. The warden was right. When I see something I like, I just can't keep my hands off it. So I'll keep the coat. <laughs> The plane is waiting. The plane is waiting.
storage order is correct, the weight on the handcart is wrong. You wait for my order. Open the door. the temperature. Take it down all the way. It won't affect the fur, but anything else will freeze to death. Now you come over close to the window. have no knowledge of an attempt to steal the Kavaz sable. No. Of course not. steal. you into a corner. Good defense, but I'm coming after you. Focus and sound systems on the blink. Better send for the repair service. Looks like you've got me in check, Miss Spencer. Winner takes all. May I offer my congratulations? Break it up, the game's over. We were just playing chess. You're lucky I arrived in time. One more move and he'd have had you mated. Report back to your unit, Miss Spencer. You're a great competitor, officer. I'll get you on the rematch. This is Noah Bain. Do you read me? Yes, sir. I want the following briefing session recorded. Briefing session? What's that? I know. You're not a spy, you're a thief. But this one is tailor-made for you. You know what this is? Sable. Baltic. Gold medallion. Prize quality. Snatching stoles is not my bag. 
Of course, a criminal mastermind like you wouldn't soil his long, skinny fingers on anything so common as a fur heist. But this is different, Al. This is the Kafka Sable. It's an important coat. Important coat? Resign while you're ahead, Noah. We'll notify the SIA you've had a physical breakdown. Look, it's not just the fur. It's what's inside that counts. What's inside, Noah? The cloth chart showing the exact locations of all the ICBM sites in Siberia. It's quite a plot, Al. It's an international frame-up. The Kafka Sable is going to be presented as a gift to celebrate the signing of a new trade treaty between the Baltic States and the United Kingdom. The daughter of the United Kingdom's Minister of Commerce is going to receive the Sable, then at the border, the secret police step in and accuse the United Kingdom of high-level espionage activities with the map in the lining to prove it. Both countries look bad and the trade treaty falls apart. Why don't you warn British intelligence? Well, there are factions on both sides that are looking for any excuse to break up that treaty. We helped put it together, and we want it to stick, but we can't show our hand. What's the catch, Noah? Snatching furs is for beginners. Why can't your agents handle it? A marriage certificate. The warden is releasing you in your husband's custody. In his custody. Think of it as a partnership. I'm sure if we work hard together, we can make a go of it. Are we free to take up where we left off? Nothing has changed. Take me home. Warden, you've made two people very happy. You gotta be kidding. You went to all the trouble to forge the papers and hype the warden just to spring me so that we can pull a heist taking a fur coat. You know better than that. Al. Oh. I wouldn't heist a double-breasted chinchilla with ermine flaps. He said fur coat, I didn't. And I said Kavka's sable. Ow. It's no use. We've got to tell him. You can't. Let him talk. It's in the lining. Al, that's classified information. Classified? Classified AAA by Lloyds of London. Look, Fred, she won't help us unless I tell her why we want the coat. Tell me. Tell me what's in the coat. Diamonds. My birthstone. Worth one million dollars in cash. My favorite amount. She looks exactly like you. Spitting image, with a short haircut and a wiggy wardrobe. I can't let her steal a whole wardrobe. You can't pay for it. We're thieves, Noah, remember? She was suspicious when you wouldn't let her lift the furniture out of the mansion. It was government property. Do you want her to help us steal the Kavkaz Sable? All right, we've got no choice. Just close your eyes. I'll slip you the price tags. You can settle up when we leave. You better know what you're doing. Watch out for the pink-faced man with the lizard eyes. He's the floor fuzz. And the lady with the shopping bag is the assistant heat. Oh, Daddy, they're smashing. I prefer you in tweeds. May I? Yes, yes, you may. I'm Wellesley Ainsford. Uh, and this is my bride, Wendy, and my accountant, Mr. Chiltern. Oh, uh, something from our fall collection, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> this way? Thank you. Would you stay? Thank you. A cappuccino? Oh, no, thank you. Maybe later. Uh, excuse me. It's uh, really not you. Why don't you start stealing it? Start? We haven't stopped. Watch Chuck when she tries on the next dress. I 
I don't see anything. Look closely. I still don't see anything. Her skirts are getting longer and she's putting on weight. Yeah. She is getting heavier. She's got on three mini skirts, two blouses, a sports outfit, and a street coat. Won't they notice anything? Not if we keep running up the bill. Now. Oh, charming. Charming. Yes. Yes, we'll take two of those, and I'd like to have four of the evening gowns in pink, white, avocado, and the persimmon. I, I like the persimmon color. Uh. Yes. Mr. Chilton, what's your tally? $18,720.26. Oh, with tax. A $21,340. Oh, yes, the tax. Thank you. She certainly carries furs beautifully. Do you have anything in white? Floor length? For the ballet. I was thinking more for the horse show. Oh. <laughs> well, she's doing all right. How about you? Oh, well, we agreed ahead of time. The accessories are my bag. I see. Do you want me to distract the store detectives for you? You'll never learn, Noah. Those plastic heads are ex-cops, put out the pasture. They've been asleep for years. The only time he ever gets up is when the models go by, and the lady, every time she goes to the water cooler, she takes a sip out of her flask from a shopping bag. It's all right, he's with me. I still think they can spot you. You haven't spotted me. You haven't done anything yet. You see that pearl necklace? Mm-hmm. Watch. How'd you do that? Feel my arm. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. You could use a workout. They're not my arms. They're stuffed. Stuffed? Yeah, my hands are stuffed. The gloves are stuffed. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I can hardly walk. Oh, I love it. Isn't it divine? Say it's mine, Daddy. It's mine, Daddy. Come on, can I have it? All right, Wendy, dear. You can have it. Ah, would you add up the total, please? We're late for tea. Go put your coat on, Wendy. They tried to. They got killed. The sable is kept under maximum security in a refrigerated vault. I have the blueprints of the building. Guards, mm -hmm. alarm systems, concrete floors. Nothing to it. We can tunnel in from Finland. There's no time. The presentation ceremony is this week. How about a double switch? Okay, Al, whatever you say. I'll need some pictures of the Minister of Commerce's daughter. Her name is Sidner Cavendish. A little like a bent twiggy. A friend of royalty. Voted best dressed clothes horse. We can give one of our agents a trick haircut, buy her a pair of boots and a miniskirt. Oh, your agents wouldn't work. They're nice girls, but they're too muscular. And what's worse, they're honest. What you need is a trained professional thief. No, absolutely not. The State Department is that I know a crook who could handle this. And so do you. Do you remember that girl in Montefiore at the casino who was impersonating the princess? The one who lifted my wallet? She looks enough like Sidnor Cavendish to be a twin. Forget it. Besides, we don't have time. What about your big-time SIA computing machine? A full-time pro must have a record. Trace it. We don't know her name. Brown. Charlene. Her friends call her Charlie or Chuck. Right at your fingertips, huh? What, were you planning a heist or a party? Well, if I'm going to pull a double switch, I have to have an accomplice. Central control. Put out a three-stage computer trace on Charlene Brown, a.k.a. Charlie Brown, a.k.a. Chuck. Felon, female. Record and or want. SIA and Eastern Criminal Bureaus. Subject, Charlene Brown. Now serving one to three years grand larceny. 10701 Patapsco Correction Center. There's your hotshot professional locked in prison. 
Come on, Noah. Doing a stretch in the slams is like going to finishing school, studying with the masters. Get out the Ritz and Springer. No, absolutely not. The SAA can't handle more than one of you. And then fake her into somebody else's custody. Whose? Who else? <laughs> parole a thief to a thief on parole. They'll write books about you in law school. Send in 10701. C. Brown. This is an unusual degree of kleptomania. According to our record, she was picked up for GTA. I'm afraid you'll have to fill me in on the technical details. GTA? Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. She drove a Rolls Royce right off the showroom floor. What's all this, Warden? Some creepo claims he's my husband? You remember me, Mrs. Brown? Fred Jackson. I used to be in the oil business. Oh, I know you from someplace. You're a friend of... Your husband. Hello, darling. What a trip. My husband. Our attorney has submitted notarized copies of our...